Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out, and it is finally time. I have a Note 8 right here running Android 8.0 with Samsung Experience version 9. Now, this update is not officially out at the time of this recording. Um, at least, not the update is officially out. Um, it just hasn't been pushed by carriers yet. So this version right here, um, I did flash onto the phone using Odin. Um, if you guys want me to make a video on that, I will. Um, by the time I make a video on it, though, it's probably going to be close to the um, actual release coming out. It just needs to be pushed by carriers. This update has already been uploaded to most carrier servers for uh, the update to be pushed. But anyway, I want to show you some of the features of Android 8.0 and Samsung Experience version 9. Uh, so we're going to pop into the settings here, and we're going to go down to About Phone. Let me move it real quick because it does show my phone number front and center. Um, so that's kind of the About information. is a little bit redesigned. You get your phone number, your model number, your IMEI, software version, hardware version, all on the front page right there. Um, but we're going to go to the software information real quick. Um, and you can see we are running the Android security patch level for March of 2018, which was just a couple days ago. It is March 7th. Um, and you can see right here we are running Android version 8.0 and Samsung Experience version 9. Previously the Note 8 was running Android 7.1.1 with Android version, I mean uh, with Samsung Experience version 8.5. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the features that come out with this. Uh, most of them are going to be user interface changes. The phone does feel um, a lot smoother now, um, now that we are on 7.1.1. So, so far, um, what I found, now I've been playing with this for 30 minutes so far, um, so these updates and these changes are going to be ones that are pretty major and noticeable. Um, so for notifications, we do have app icon badges now, um, so you can choose if you want the badge to show on the icon with numbers, um, or you can show without the numbers, just have a little dot. You can also completely turn off the icon badges if you want. Um, it does sync with the notification center. When you, when you dismiss the notification, the badge disappears. So if you have notifications and you don't open the app, you can clear that badge by dismissing the notification um, from the notification center. So that is one of the new ones. Um, that's pretty much it I've noticed for notifications right away. Um, I haven't seen anything else yet. There's nothing for like notification center itself. Um, let me try to get this focused again there we go I'm gonna turn on autofocus real quick even though it's gonna be kinda iffy um, so we have that and then in display if we pop into here we can go down to the edge screen um, the edge lighting has been redone so um, you have the same settings you have as normal there um, but the lighting effect when you click on that it's gonna take you to this screen right here you can choose your effect you can do basic multicolor glow glitter um, you can change the color. I have it to sync with my apps right now. So you can actually choose what app is what color now. So you can customize that. If you don't like that, you can reset it to the default colors. Um, transparency, you can adjust that on how transparent it is on the screen and then the width on how far it sticks out. So there is that and then you can still manage your notifications for your edge lighting. Not all apps work with edge lighting even if you turn them on that is more app specific than it is Android specific but that is just how it is. So far right now we still don't have any additional features for the LED indicator. We don't have any system um, system wide features to change that yet to change the color or customize the color. I wish that is something Samsung would add um, so you can change the color on your own without it being app dependent um, or for apps that don't have the feature of letting you change the color. Um, we still have all the regular stuff down there. Icon frames are still the same. Um, home screen, all that kind of stuff is still the same. There is now um, an option when you hold it down you get your wallpapers, your themes, your widgets um, and home screen settings so it, does, it doesn't take you right to the theme store anymore. Um, like if I hit themes it would take me to that part of the store or if I hit wallpapers, it would take me to that part of the store to change those. Um, so I don't have to adjust those one by one. There is also, um, you can hold on icons now, and you can get your most recent, if you have a notification from it, it will show up in this little box right here. Um, but like if you hold on the YouTube icon, you can get search, subscriptions, trending, that kind of stuff. So you do get little like pop-ups for when you hold down on an app icon, which is pretty nice, similar to Apple's 3D Touch. Um, as far as display, 
on your um, always on display under lock screen and security. We do have a bunch of features there for customizing that kind of stuff. Um, you can choose your notifications and how those look. Um, so you can do your notifications, uh, notification icons only. You can hide content. Um, you can change the transparency of the icon itself so you can actually turn it all the way up to high and make it just like a word on your background, which is nice. You can have it auto reverse text color. Um, so if you have a brighter background, it'll be a white, um, or a, if you have a darker background, it'll be a white text so you can still see it. Um, show notifications from, and then you can choose to show notifications on your lock screen, lock and always on display, or always on display only, or you can completely turn off notifications as always. Um, you have Google Play Protect, all that kind of stuff on there. Same stuff as always before. Um, another feature though on the always on display is you can do your home screen, home button and clock, as always of course, clock or home button only. Um, always on display alerts, and we can get rid of that real quick. I don't need the tip, I already know what I'm doing. Come on, go away. There we go. Um, so there's that, and then for the information, clock, and face widgets, you can choose the clock style. Now when you go to this, you can actually choose it for the always on display, or you can toggle up here, you can, you can actually change the clock type on your lock screen now, which is a great feature. So there's a couple different versions you can go through there, um, different designs. Um, there's analog clocks, digital clocks, all that kind of stuff. Um, I prefer that one right there. You can choose a color or you can have it change based on your background color. Um, going to the always on display here, same thing, same faces right here. A couple different ones in there for the always on display. Um, you can do pictures, stuff like that, all your regular stuff. And then you can do different colors as well, as always. Um, but they did add a couple different styles in there for the always on display, which is really nice. And the ability to change it on your lock screen. Um, overall, that's basically what I found so far. I might do an update video to this if um, I find more features. But so far, um, you know, there's a lot to go through. And that's what I found so far. You can also search your settings up here, voice search. And then that is going to be your profile up there for your phone. So a bunch of new stuff. The phone, like I said, is running very, very smooth so far. Um, no issues or anything like that at all yet. Um, this has been passed by the, um, been approved by Google. Um, so all your apps like Samsung Pay and all that kind of stuff will work. Um, it has passed secure. I think it's called Security Net. I forget the term. What it's, what exactly it's called, but it's passed that. Um, so all that kind of stuff will work and is secure. This has been Colin with Tech Out. If you enjoyed this video. Feel free to click that subscribe button, that bell icon for notifications, and all that kind of stuff so you see more of these videos in the future. This video is going to be released immediately since this is something new and upcoming. So it will be coming out before my other scheduled videos. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.